Look at our view this morning. Not too shabby. So today we're going to go up to the highest pub in Africa, but in order to get there we have to go up Sani Pass. And well, this little car cannot make it up Sani Pass, so we've had to book to go up there with the company. So this is the car that we're going to be taking to go up Sani Pass. I mean, this is massive. Do you want to sit in the back or in the middle? I don't know. Let's go in the middle. Oh, I think one day we're going to end up buying one of these things. <laughs> And do like an African road trip. Oh yes. Whole African road trip. Amazing. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Rosie. Hi, Hi Rosie. Rosie. Nice to meet you. I'm Leanne. Seems like we have both sides, which is great. Oh, yeah, it's not too shabby, hey? <laughs> nice and spacious. Yeah, so that means we're gonna get a left hand view. And a, and a right hand view. I'm really excited to go up Sony Pass as it's absolutely beautiful. The last time I went up there, I think I was like 12 years old, so I'm really keen to go up again. Alright, so my name is Alan. So that is a very easy name, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'll never forget that. Going a little bit on the right hand side of the peak. Oh, okay. Yeah. Slowly but really starting to make our way up. As you can see, we're still on Tar Road, but that is shortly in the end. So, along our way up Sony Pass, we're actually stopping at these viewpoints to have a look at these incredible views. Now, what we're looking at is actually the Drakensberg Mountain, and in order to go to the highest pub in Africa, we need to go all the way to the top of these mountains. And we are officially leaving South Africa to a new country. As you can see, the tar roads have now ended and we're on dirt road. And we're going to be on dirt road all the way to the top of the mountain to the highest pub in Africa. So we would have thought that we would have actually needed our passports on our South African road trip. Luckily we have them with us. So the highest pub in Africa is just over this mountain. We're going to drive along this mountain all the way to the top. We'd have loved to bring our own car, but apparently it's not going to make these roads. And you can see here in the parking lot, all we have is 4 by 4s <laughs> Thank you so much, eh? We've officially left South Africa. <laughs> Just for a short while. 1 2 one 2 v Okay. Yes. Alan, how long does it take to get to the top from now? Uh, from now, plus minus 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah, because the, the thing is we have some viewpoints, we have to stop there. Ah, uh, okay. Take the photos and keep on driving. Yes. So we're entering no man's land now. We are not in Lesotho, but we are still in South Africa. So not only do you need a car to come up here, but you can also hike. Good luck. Good luck guys. So the elevation that we're climbing up today is 2,812 meters. Like that's insane. We're already so high up and I think we're only like halfway. I think that's going to be the highest point above sea level that we reach is the 2,812 meters. Oop. Oh. So we made a little pit stop again, but I'm actually wondering what kind of drinks they serve at the highest pub in Africa. This is the road that we've just come up. It doesn't actually look that steep when you're in the car, but when you get out, you actually realize how much of a climb it was. I feel sorry for those hikers. It's going to be quite a track up. That is so far down. That is insane. And that's where we gotta go. Yeah. Top of that. Do you see what that looks like? That's scary. I'm glad I'm not the one driving it. I'd be a ball of nerves. Look 
at this turn. Now we are talking. Oh, goodness. Oh. Reverse, reverse. Oh. This is definitely needing a 4x4. There we go. A normal car definitely wouldn't have picked that up. Very next ride is up there. Check out this turn is perfect. Yeah. It is so steep and you can even feel that the 4x4 is slipping every now and then. So it's not something you'd want to take with a normal car and I don't even think that's possible. But I'm excited to have a drink at the highest pub in Africa. The higher we go up, the more you feel the wind. And it's so chilly as you're climbing up. I think it's going to be freezing up there. So we are here mid-November and apparently in winter here it snows so this is all covered in snow. Can you imagine how beautiful this looks when it's covered in a blanket of snow? As incredible, I think our view from on top is going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm wondering what the view from the highest pub in Africa looks like. Can't wait to have a drink there. Wow, it is crazy windy up here, it's so cold. We reached our next border post which is actually the Lesotho border post and Lesotho is a small enclave country within South Africa and a fun fact is that Lesotho actually supplies a lot of water to South Africa through the Lesotho Highlands Water Project but it's so cold up here <laughs> I didn't expect this at all <laughs> back in the car we go but before we go to the highest pub in Africa, we're actually going to go and see a Basutu village, which is the local people here in Basutu. So we're going to enter one of the huts inside here, which the local people from the Basutu tribe would actually stay in. Careful, make sure you bend. Okay, thank you. This is so cool. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dumelang. Dumelang. Thank you. <laughs> it's hello in Basutu. Uh, my name is Sipiwe and you are more than welcome to the mountain kingdom in the sky. So our land, the Sotu, the nation Basotu. We speak Sesotu. It's pretty dark in here. It feels like this uh, hut is made out of mud. It is. I think the walls and the floors and it even smells of smoke so I think they light fires in here as well to keep warm. For us to build the hut we use natural materials which is rocks, soil, grass and particularly with this crust naturally grows here. We don't really cut it because it's a very short crust and it's very soft at the top part of it. So when we do the thatch, the top part of the crust will remain inside, the roots outside. <coughs> so that easily allows the smoke to go through the crust without allowing the rain to leak into the house. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That looks delicious. Okay, so this is our homemade bread flour. Mm. It's wheat flour, sugar, yeast, and a little bit of salt in it. So it's baked right in this pot here. Mm. So that is bohobi. Nice. Uh, it's time for eating bohobi. Oh, it's so, Ooh, it's so it's, soft. Well, it's a charcoal for the uh, mm. compressed sugar. That is delicious. It's still so warm from that being cooked over the fire. Oh, huh? It's super warm. Yes, Bring it inside when it's charcoal. Mm. Then we put it underneath the pot mm. and on top of the pot. It's got a sweetish taste so, to it. It cooks from both sides. So nice, yes. so warm. And the outside is so crusty. So now I'm looking for one lady to come and put on the pot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright. I've got the crown. And it comes with the duties anyway. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. Well, because you were ready, you were off duty today. Am I off duty? You're off duty today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I have a one. So, okay. <laughs> thank yeah, you. You don't have to clean today. <laughs> okay, so this is how the women put on the blanket. So the opening in the front, she's able to use her both hands with the blanket on. And you mainly see the brighter side of the blanket is the most visible part when the women put on the blanket. So does this mean I go back home alone? Yeah. Oh. I'm staying here. Yeah, you're staying here. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.
Is the blanket warm? It is very warm. Yeah, it's actually wool. And it's very and soft as well. It's, yeah, it's very, very soft. soft. Yeah. Why, why do the women have a different side and the men have a different side? Is it it's, just to... It's just a cultural thing. Just a cultural yes. thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't say... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They actually have the sort of people now doing their traditional dancing for us right here in Lesotho. How cool is that? This is really cool to be experiencing this. I haven't experienced something like this before. We're actually getting to go into an actual Basutu hut. Check out they've decorated the walls here. Yeah, they actually have a small little kitchen with their plates. And you can see here's where they sit, as well as where they sleep. So it's actually quite neat and clean. Minimalistic look. Yeah, hey! My mom was here, she'd be so happy. She's like, so clean. <laughs> so this is your home, hey? Yes. This is your home. Very yes. beautiful. The chief is Ariel. Oh, uh, okay. So this whole village, you the chief of? And Border Gate. And Border Gate, you the chief of yes. the village. Oh, okay. Wow. That's amazing, hey? And what's your name? Belina. Belina Daniel. <laughs> nice Daniel, to meet thanks, you. Thanks, Daniel. Nice to meet you, Belina. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you so much, eh? Hey? Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, how cool is that? Actually going into one of the huts there and seeing how they live and just immersing yourself in this entire experience. It's so lovely. We even got to meet the chief of this area up until the border gate. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but I will take a word for it. That was really so interesting uh, to learn you. about the tribe and also be blessed with the blanket and just learn that the different sides of the blanket mean different things for the men and the women. As you see by this sideboard we have officially made it to the highest pub in Africa and it is crazy windy out here. Jeez. From here on the deck outside the highest pub in Africa, you can actually see the road that we came up that is snaking through the mountains. We are so high up, but this is amazing. We have an incredible view here over these mountains. And that that we're looking over there is actually South Africa. So the South African border post is there and the Lesotho post is right over here. So we had to drive this road in order to come up here. The highest pub in Africa, 2,874 meters. Made it! Woohoo! Hop up. Hop up. <laughs> now, seeing that it's a pub, we have to try the beer over here. And there's going to be a certain type of beer that we want to try. It's the pizza zone. Yeah, it's the pizza zone. Ooh. Ooh. That's good. How cool is this pub? So cute. So this is what the highest pub in Africa looks like. <laughs> Almost looks like a house that has been converted into a bar. The bar's on the other side. This is just where we're going to be sitting to have some lunch. And we have made it officially to the highest pub in Africa. Behind me is the pub. So we've ordered ourselves a Maluti beer for 45 Rand here at the highest pub in Africa. So I think the right way is to taste it, right? Oh, that is so good. That is a lager beer, which is one of my favorite beers. And Leanne doesn't really like beer, but I know she's going to enjoy this one because she enjoys lagers. It's got such a nice, crisp taste. And to have a beer, a Maluti beer, which is a Lesotho beer in the highest pub in Africa, which is also in Lesotho, is amazing. That's just fantastic. Cheers. That's actually a really nice beer. Maluti beer in Lesotho. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>